Today, we're planning for the week of August 31st through September 6th. And I don't know, I just wanted to try something a little different today. I kind of wanted to cover this area here and maybe this area here and use quite a few of the uh, blocks inside. Uh, cover them with some sc um, scrapbooking paper. So I pre-cut some pieces to cover these edges here. And I also got out some wax paper so that I could glue these and not get glue all over my table. So, I'll put this right up here. And I just love the pattern on this paper. This paper is just simply gorgeous. And it's a scrapbooking paper that I've had for a while. I really don't care much for these polka dots that are on this planner. So I'm really glad that in the new planner, these dots are gone. And this is what this scrapbooking paper looks like. It's really a beautiful, beautiful floral pattern. And I just thought it really lent itself well for this particular layout. Since the colors on this page are purple and green, I thought this would be perfect. And the pattern comes from some paper called uh, floral designs. I'm not really sure the name of it. I guess I probably should have looked for that. But I don't often think about that when it comes to working with the papers. So I'll put that right here. Let's get that corner down just a little bit more. And then um, over here, I want to use some of my girls from my book, Does This Make Me Look Fat? So I want to put them right here, but I kind of wanted to put a little something behind this girl here. So I had pre-cut some paper and set it out so I think I'm liking that and then this is my little shopping lady she goes over here but I'm thinking I'm going to want to put something behind this piece right here so I'm going to wait just a minute before I actually um, get her placed on the paper. I cut this circle round from a little punch that I had and then I made these little flags. With a Fiskars flag punch. And that just kind of makes her stand out just a little bit. I like the way she looks on that pink. And then this one is going to go over here. Oh, maybe I need to move that over just a little bit more. Doesn't have to be right in the center. Yeah, there we go. So I'll get this over here. And then I'll get my lady ready to 
pop on here. I think about right there is good for her. So before I stick her all the way down, I'll get the other lady on. Then we'll know if we've got her in the right place. These tweezers come from the Cutterbees Cutter Bees, um, kit. My Cutterbees scissors came with it. So here are my Cutterbee tweezers. I've had them for a while, so part of that's kind of popped off. And then here are my scissors, which so many crafters have. But the tweezers really work nicely because they help you to position your embellishments right where you want them, and you don't get your fingers all sticky. Okay, so I've got her there. And I'm thinking I want to cover these... Um, morning and day and evening and these particular stickers come from the lily top designs i really love her sticker she does such a nice job they're so colorful You can get some stickers and they're just real pale, but these have great color. I really like them. And this is the first time I've used them and the first time I've really tried covering up these morning, day, and night things like this. Looks like I got the wrong one there, so purple, this yellow one goes here. I don't have this one on very well. So I'm going to reposition it. The nice thing about these lily top designs is that they are very repositional. Which is important to me. There, so there are those. Okay. And I think next, I want to use some of the things from my that I got from the Reset Girl. Now, one of the things that I like to do is use something from my kit that I got from the Reset Girl in all of my layouts. And this is from the I Am Collection from Simple Stories. So I've picked this I Am one to use right here. And then I've cut some scrapbooking paper to put across this row here. 
because I really wanted to try and see how that might look. So here's some of the papers that I've cut. And we'll just see how they look. Yeah, I think I like the way that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down first. I'm covering up the words on the day, evening, night, etc. And I looked at them ahead of time to try to get a feel for which pieces would look good. I put down a yellow sticker. It didn't have to be. I'm going to take that off and save it. These colors are working together so much better than I ever thought they would. I'm really liking them. Now this glue that I'm using, I also got this glue stick in my July kit from the Reset Girl. And it is a great glue stick. It's a lot less forgiving though than the glue stick that I have been using. So you've got to be pretty sure that you want things where they are. You can reposition them, but it's not as easy to reposition as um, the Elmer's Craft glue that I have been using. There. I love patchwork. I love quilting, and I love patchwork quilts. I love scrap quilts, all different little tiny pieces and colors. And these colors together like this just make me think of a patchwork quilt. Let's see, here's my little lady. And so now I'll go ahead and get her down. One of the things that I find as I evolve in this scrap, oh, not scrapbooking, but this planning journey is that I like certain things. I tend to like to be able to see my lines, you know, my columns very easily. I don't like a lot of cutesy stickers, but I do like a little bit of whimsy. Now, one of the things that I know that I've got coming up is a wedding and it's on Saturday. And so I've got some stickers here from this Jolie Boutique. And these were actually Christmas stickers, but they had this really cute little package that was just kind of a gold package. You know how you'll go to a wedding and see these big gift bags with the tissue paper just kind of coming out of the top. And I thought this looks like a great wedding gift. And it goes with the gold I am that I've got on here. So I'm going to place that there as my wedding gift. And I will write, well, I'll write on it later on. I'll do that just a little bit later on. So there's that. 
and oh here I've got also something else that I picked up out of my I am collection is this little banner that says I am so thankful and I am I have just had so many blessings and I just appreciate what I have so I wanted to put that I am thankful so I'm really liking the way this layout is, is turning out so far Now, what are some of the things that I have to do this week? Well, Wednesday and Thursday are my clinical days, and I've got this set of stickers from Stickabilities. It is the doctor's office collection. And I'm going to use the stethoscopes in it again to indicate a clinical day. But... sure how many more I've gotten to set. I don't think. I think these are the last two. Yeah, yeah, these are the last two. So next week I'll have to use maybe the medicine bottles or something like that to serve as my clinical reminder. There. So there's my stethoscopes to indicate my clinical days of Wednesday and Thursday of that week. What else do I want? To do? Oh, well, on Mondays, one of the things that I always do on Mondays is I do YouTube videos. And these YouTube stickers come from the Nifty Nimble Designs. So I'll put that. Oh, I'm getting it crooked. And where are they repositional? They don't like to be repositioned very much. So I try to get them where I want them the first time around. And then I've got some little clipboard stickers that I got from Also oh Pretty Planner. And these little clipboards are just the perfect stickers to use I'm not sure what all I've got going on this week, but I do know Tuesday I have office hours and typically students will stop in for appointments. Thursday I have class, Thursday evening, so hmm. Okay, so we've got the stethoscopes on. I've got my paper blocks all the way across and I'm really liking the way this is shaping up. Let's see, what else do I have going on Friday? I've got a faculty meeting, but I think I want to put this on. And this comes from this Inspirational Phrases sticker pack. And this particular one um, says it's kind of fun to do the impossible. So we've got some kind of fun things coming up uh, for the semester. So I'm looking forward to... my trip to the Indian Reservation and some other things so I'm going to put this down to make me think about all the things that I have going on this semester. I love these clear stickers and it's a tiny bit crooked but I think I'm just going to have to let that go because these aren't very repositional and if I try to pick it up, I'm just not real sure how well that's going to fly. Nope, going to leave it there. 
and, and then I'm going to write ten AM for faculty there. And then I also will have a hair appointment that afternoon. So let's see if I can find a sticker that indicates the hair appointments. I think this is the wrong pack. That's the one thing about these Happy Planner stickers. You just kind of have to look through them or look on the back to see what's what in them. So Okay, I've got a hair appointment. And that'll be Friday afternoon. I'll, maybe I'll just try putting it right there. Get that out of there. And then Wednesday is a clinical day, and I'm not sure what all I've got going on on that day, but I thought I would like to put in this piece of kind of a dark paper. I just love this paper, and it's from this. I cut it out from this particular uh, paper, and it's from the designer collection from the K and Company. I just love it. It's one of those that's kind of a neutral that you can just kind of use everywhere for anything. So when I say a neutral, I don't mean a neutral color, but it's just kind of one of those um, papers that just kind of blend with everything. So I'm going to put this one right here. And then I made this flag with my punch from some floral paper that also came um, in the same pack that I got that other design from. And then I've got my heart also from my Simple, simple Stories from the I Am collection. So it's just kind of I like putting it just a little bit off center of, well not off center, but putting the heart, the center of the heart on the flag, which is a little bit off center there. So I really like the look that I'm getting from this collection of papers. And I'm just trying to think what else I have to do. I got my wedding down. Oh, I've got class Thursday evening and I've got some class stickers. These are from the Sticko collection and um, I think I want to put a set of books there. I really like this desk but hmm. I think it's the books that I want. I think I'm going to have to reserve the desk for when I've got more space to give. And I kind of like that little purple book that just kind of picks up the purple and, you know, just kind of glows a little bit here on the page. So I'm liking that. And I'm thinking this layout looks pretty good. It's pretty complete. I'm not sure what else I would add. Now let me just think, what do I else do I have going on for the week? Um, my son is coming on Friday. Him and his family are coming up for the Labor Day holiday. So I don't want to forget that. So let me find a don't forget note. And we'll see how I like that. Here's a don't forget little flag. I can put it right there. Don't forget. And I'm just going to put Justin. And 
faire. That just is a reminder for me that Justin and his family are coming for the Labor Day holiday. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him and those two adorable little girls that he's got. So I believe that is all that I have going on. And I've got space that I left here and here to write things in. Plenty of space to write things in on Tuesday. I can write things in here on the uh, paper if I need to. And of course, I can put things in there and there. And then one of the things that I always do on Monday, 7.30 call. And then of course, I always shoot my video. And then I'll probably also have some uh, appointments on Monday, but I'm not sure right now what they are. This will just be the second week that classes have started, and there will still be a lot going on. So I'm just going to leave that like so. I'll just put this on like this, and I can always just take it off and move it to where I need to. You know what? Maybe I'll just put it on like this. You know, I could just use one of my little flags. That's what I could do. I'll just put a little flag down here. Seven thirty call. And then there'll be lots of other things that I'll be working on this week, but I've got time to put those in. So this is my week for the um, week of August 31st through September 6th. As you can see, I've got it pretty well decorated and I am loving it, but I still have room to write some things in, so I'm really excited about that. So that's it for now from Makeup on Aisle 64. I hope you'll take the time to plan with me again next week. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And by all means, subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my blog.